New England Living TV is brought to you by Clark, Sub-Zero, Wolf & Co. Kohler Signature Store by Supply New England and Marvin Windows and Doors. And of course, please stop into the all-new Seven Died in the Seaport District in Boston. Welcome to New England Living, I'm Parker Kelly. And I am passionate about art, architecture, and design. I also love to travel, meet new people, and I'm definitely a foodie. Join me each week as I travel all over this beautiful region, showcasing the most spectacular homes and meeting the key players involved in creating them. To top it off, I'll cook up some delicious dish with a chef, and we'll finish it off with a celebration of it all. I'm Parker Kelly, and this is New England Living. Today I'm on my way to the south shore of Massachusetts, to a lovely town called Duxbury, 35 miles southeast of Boston. Duxbury is primarily a residential community, rich with history and closely connected to the bay. It was settled by pilgrims Miles Standish and John Alden in 1624 and incorporated in 1637. In the 1800s, Duxbury had 20 shipyards and produced 10 large sailing vessels a year. The town has many ponds and bogs throughout, and in recent years it has been known for its oyster farming industry and other shellfish. I'm on my way to meet homeowners Jill and Paul in their California-influenced 8,000 square foot shingle style home on Duxbury Bay. The couple built the home for their five children and five pets. Animal lovers both, Paul and Jill make their living in animal health. Paul runs an e-commerce company selling horse products while Jill's focus is on the clinical side of animal health. The home has lots of open space and light and was finished just about a year ago, right before their new baby Kai was born. The couple got engaged in Morocco, which you will see influenced some of their design. We're gonna meet the homeowner, take a tour of this bright, beautiful home, and then Jill and Paul are turning their state-of-the-art kitchen over to a chef and me, and we're going old school Italian, cooking up a dinner party and celebrating New England living in Duxbury, Massachusetts. Hi. Hi. How are you? Oh, you must be Jill. Jill. You must be this Kai. Hi. Hi. You must be Paul. Hey, how are you? I'm well, thank you. Good to meet you. See? That's me. I came in my car. Yeah. yeah. Good. Hi. You come on in. Hi. <laughs> what an entry. Oh, thanks. Lovely. Should we tell you a little bit about yes, how the, the whole concept came tell about? Tell me everything. Wow, I just am so enthralled. So I really loved mixed media, and we started with the 1700s beams. Okay, I wondered uh, how old those were, yeah. and, but they were originally red. So we really wanted them to be inspired by California sun. So we used um, acid, an acid wash, outside for about three months, wow. and then they actually Set, set them and then stain them. I love the tone. So then we started with the inspiration for the man because I love everything with a clean line. Um, I love square and I, I love the intensity of that figure. Oh, I love it. And, oh, yeah. And his name is Climber Sean. Climber Sean. Now, do you know the artist? Rainer Lagman. Rainer Lagman. Yeah. And it's all made up of tiny squares. Yeah. Oh, I love it. It just gives a lot of movement in the room. It just gives a lot of excitement. We just designed the whole room around Climber Sean. We <laughs> actually really? bought him before. <laughs> yeah, we were like, we gotta figure out a way that we've got enough wall space to get him up there. I love it. And I yeah. love this coffee table. Oh my goodness, look at this coffee table. It doubles as a dance floor. Oh, okay, what? <laughs> <laughs> For the one-year-old? No. no. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> we've had a few parties where. Oh, really? It's rated for six dancers. Beautiful room, beautiful room. What do you call this room? Great room. Great, room. great. Yeah, yeah. of course, it is great. Yeah. Look at it. Let's look at your kitchen. All right. Okay, who is the cook? He's the cook. I, I actually do love yes. to cook. Yes. Yeah. The more pans get messy, <laughs> the better. Yeah. Yeah. At some point, you know, during the day. Yeah. This is beautiful. Thanks. So tell me about this. This so is lovely. This is quartzite. We live pretty hard. Right. And we have kids and dogs and lots of parties. Um, so we wanted something that was forgiving. Love it. And the lights. Everything. Oh, this is really nice industrial too. Nice hood. So we also um, built the kitchen around our dogs. Um, <laughs> so we, we made a dog platform. The larger dogs come around mm -hmm. and they drink from here. And we made a step for our pug named Rue. Oh. Um, and she can come up. Oh, that's and sweet. So the, our carpenter was absolutely brilliant. I just love your taste, you guys. Really amazing. And Jill was like, oh my gosh, you know, the houses are so 
similar here, and we basically went with shingle style on the outside, but she wanted us to, to kind of hip it up. Kind of more like contemporary, yes. transitional, yes. I, I don't even know what you call it. Funny, when one of my friends came in and he's like, so I don't really like things that are contemporary, but boy do I, maybe I do. Yes, you know? <laughs> maybe I do, right? I mean, if you do it well, which you clearly do, it's, yeah, it's beautiful. So we go, oh, that's the baby gate. Industrial baby. <laughs> yeah. Doubles as a dog gate. Okay. <laughs> oh, and this is your room. Oh, I love that bed. Wow. Very nice. Our beam guy actually built it for us. Oh, really? Yes. He, he was very excited. Yeah, so this is the same guy, Gil, and he was really excited to build a swinging bed. We thought this would be both like a nice cuddle spot, reading. The baby loves swinging on us. So wow, that's excellent. Works out well. That's excellent. <laughs> I love it. Love it. Great master suite. Oh, we're not done yet. Oh, this is beautiful. So we wanted to use a similar mm. color palette, mm. an accent wall, and the natural travertine with an acrylic tub. And I love the texture in that shower too. It's a double shower. Mm -hmm. It is. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Oh, look at this. This is our ground level. Oh. Playroom. Look at this. Well, now I know why you want to have half the party down here. <laughs> yeah. Wow, this is a great space. Wow. This door. So we loved walk when we were in Morocco. We ah. loved walking through this arch door. So we sent in it off to Morocco, uh, the design. Yeah. Um, and so, so you then, designed that together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we so I wanted symbolic. more of a geometric look. Mm. Yeah, they did, the they did all the carving, but we did the shape. Oh wow, this is so cool. <gasps> this room. So we wanted it to be more Mediterranean with like a slate floor that you can still wind up and see it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, we get a sim spider lights. Really, really, really cool. Wow, and I love the way the wine is displayed here on the metal here. Wow. We did a dumb waiter. Um, so this goes up to the kitchen. So this is actually the only dining room in the house. Uh, you know, a lot of the time people have a dining room, but they don't really use it that much. And so you waste some great space on the ground floor for a room that doesn't get used that often. And it's fun to put food in an elevator. I bet. <laughs> in the old dumb waiters, I think you had to pull. Yeah, yeah no, this, this is motorized, thankfully. Oh my gosh, you guys are brave. So we <laughs> haven't used it yet. <laughs> oh, you're cool, Oh, it's got old-fashioned buttons, too. Yes. Coming up. It was clear from day one that they had a vision for this house. Ah, the ambiance. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Clark, New England's official Sub-Zero and Wolf showroom and test kitchen offers three reasons to begin your project here. Explore the world's finest appliances. Then cook and taste Wolf's culinary perfection. Be inspired by innovative design. Do you crave extraordinary? Visit ClarkLiving.com to plan your visit. Imagine a place where you can design the kitchen or bath of your dreams. No need to travel from store to store to find exactly what you want. One place where you can design and shop the full line of world-class Kohler fixtures. Plus the top names in cabinetry. And hundreds of Kohler surface options. All with in-store design assistance. Visit the Kohler Signature Store today. The perfect place to create your ideal space. Technology is changing the world of home design, and Marvin at Seven Tide has embraced this evolution to create a unique and truly personalized window and door experience. Compare various configurations, experiment with colors and wood species, all in a high-tech, high-touch environment that strives to inspire creative freedom and discovery. You'll come away with confidence knowing that you're doing the right thing for your home. Book an appointment at marvin7tide.com. The most common type of sealer is an impregnating sealer, which penetrates the stone and fills the porous part of the stone so that stains don't penetrate. An enhancer is going to actually alter the surface of the stone a little bit by enhancing the color, giving it an extra shine, and it will also protect it. And 
the Zero Care products come already pre-treated and those will not stain or etch. After the home tour with Jill and Paul, I had a chance to chat with some of the people involved in creating this incredible home. And so this is Jack Roby, and he is a builder extraordinaire. It was clear from day one that they had a vision for this house, and uh, it was my job and my team's job to figure that out. And it took a while, but we did. And it got to a point where we knew their likes and their dislikes, and, and things were a lot easier to figure out what kind of door casing, window casing, trim. We know what kind of paneling Jill likes. It, I think she described it once as California meets Duxbury. So yeah. it, it was definitely a look that I don't do all the time, but it was one that was very refreshing and one that the whole team was excited about. For example, that wine cellar in the basement, yes. that was a, a, a groin vaulted ceiling. We had never done that before and it was really fun to do. So tell me about what the most difficult thing, was that the most difficult? Uh, no, there's a lot of systems in this house. Uh, we probably have eight air conditioning zones, 12 heating zones. We have uh, controlled lighting. We have so much packed into this house and along with the solar, that complicated things a bit. So it, system-wise, there was a lot to it. Well, so nice to meet you. Beautiful nice work. Nice to meet you. Thank you Gorgeous very much. Home. Thank okay. you, Jack. Thanks. Jack Roby. So let me introduce you to Scott Garvin and Sean Papich. Lovely to chat with you outside of this home. Beautiful home to work with. When do you come, right from the beginning? Or talk a little bit about that. Well, in this case, we were invited right from the beginning. Uh, we had to be involved with permitting. A project like this, right on the water, Conservation Commission is heavily involved. And this is about as packed of site as you can probably get. Ah, the ambiance. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is beautiful up here. Talk about this. There's a lot of little ambient lighting going on. We've got the light elements so, uh, fixed into the cap of the wall that kind of washed on the wall. You also have these fun uh, tiki torches on the wall, gas, gas lit torches that kind of have a spiral flame. They're really a cool element oh, to have. Pretty. And then how about the kitchen, the outdoor kitchen? That was something that Paul really needed to have. So we have a ceramic grill, also a gas grill uh, in a little peninsula that we use as a bar area. So there were a lot of other features over there, as well as the fire element as a fire pit along the edges. So I think they've thought of about everything. Here. Just an incredible home to work with, incredible spot to work with, but you guys are obviously yeah. brilliant at what you do. Yeah, it was all about the teamwork. Yeah. Beautiful. Well, nice Great. to Thank meet you. you. So Thank much. you so Major. much. Thank you very much. Nice to see you as always. Nice to see you. Coming up. Very nice. So far, so good. How do you want to live? As a decent person? A fine human being? A good friend? Is that it? Good? Of course not. Parent of the year? Better. Making her heart skip a beat. Thump. One of a kind. Undeniable. Like a boss. Like a standard bearer. Like a pro. We couldn't agree more. We are professional grade. GMC. How do you define a legend? Start with rugged capability, strength, the confidence to take nature head on. Add experience, skill, mastery of the situation. At Boston Whaler, our legend thrives in boats designed to handle the roughest conditions. With cutting edge features that satisfy the needs of serious anglers and performance that never falters. Boston Whaler, catch the legend. Pursuit, built to a higher standard. Many try to replicate. Pursuit continues to innovate with cutting edge features and top notch technology. Offshore, center console, dual console, sport coupe, and the sport tender. We have boats from 23 to 38 feet, and once you own one, you will feel the difference. We know you have a choice, and you can put your trust in us to deliver a vessel that will take you where you want to go. Visit your factory authorized dealer today and experience the passion we have built into each and every one of our boats. Visit PursuitBoats.com and explore, experience, enjoy your life in pursuit. Early on the morning of the party, Paul, a lifelong sailor, invited me out for a sail on Duxbury Bay. 
to share his passion for the sea. We met Duxbury Bay Maritime School Executive Director Chuck Leonard and Maintenance Director Rob Spolsino. Duxbury Bay Maritime School is a nonprofit organization for all ages and abilities, committed to providing educational and recreational programs that connect people with the sea and help them grow. It was a perfect morning for a sail on board Banshee, Rob's first sailboat, a 29-foot Vineyard Vixen. my beautiful sail with Paul, I headed over to Riverwind Farm in the neighboring town of Pembroke, where Jill and her daughter Lila keep their horses and train. Perfect. Down up a little. There you go. Good. Walk. Do it again. Same thing. Get it? After I watched Jill ride, she convinced me to take a lesson with Carl, the owner and an extremely successful coach. We've been in the business here for 40 years. And it's a family business. So you all ride? We all ride. My wife rides, my daughter rides. She even brought me an outfit, so I had no excuses. This was my third time on a horse. I'll let that fact speak for itself. Okay. Ready? Yep. Uh, very nice. So far, so good. Come on down. And pull the right rein just a bit. And look where you're going. Up, down, up, down. Very good. So. When you do that, the next pace is a trot. Okay. All right? Yeah. Let's try. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay, I see what you mean. Okay. Sorry. Now you see the bouncing, right? Yes, I do. Now if you saw Jill, we do the posting. Yes. That's what you want to do, right? Yes. So that keeps you from bouncing. That seems like a pretty advanced lesson. That seems like lesson <laughs> no. two or three. Yep. After my lesson, Jill and I headed out to see Lila ride. Lila's smile said it all. Coming up. That's a blonde bowling I think blonde's better, yeah. <laughs> Innovation, technology, design. It is why the Seaport District is the fastest growing area in Boston. It's also the reason we selected the Innovation District as the home of Seven Tide. If you're looking for a one-of-a-kind experience filled with design inspiration, a place where you can explore, see your ideas come to life, this is the place. Think of Seven Tide as a design adventure for your home, featuring the most trusted top-tier brands in their industries. For homeowners and designers alike, it's a unique approach to home design. You can visit Clark's newest Sub-Zero and Wolf showroom and test kitchen, giving you hands-on access to the world's finest appliances, or take in the country's first experience center for Marvin windows and doors. Our goal is to provide inspiration in an exceptional space that offers a relaxed and very personal experience. If you like what you see, we'll refer you to an authorized dealer. But while you're at Seven Tide, there's no pressure. Even the parking is complimentary. We want to cultivate an atmosphere that's free from anxiety so you can focus on what's right for the design of your home. New England has some of the finest designers in the country, and here you'll see an exciting array of their work in full-scale kitchens. You'll be able to see, touch, and even taste your kitchen design. Both inside and out, Seven Tide offers the perfect setting to bring your ideas to life. We want you to rethink what's possible. Adjacent to Clark, you'll find Marvin windows and doors. They offer a high-tech, high-touch experience that invites you to reset your expectations for what a home can be. After visiting Marvin, you'll never think about windows and doors the same way again. Whether you're a homeowner or a designer, building a new custom home or remodeling, we invite you to come experience the possibilities. Come be inspired, be informed, and ultimately be at home at Seven Tide. For more information for your home inspiration, visit SevenTide.com. Yours by design. I'm here at the uh, shop of Island 
Creek Oysters, and this is Annie McNamara, and she is the uh, Director of Consumer Sales. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about your farm. So Skip started growing oysters in about 1995. You know, we're a farm at, at our heart and then uh, grown into a wholesale business and then our retail business uh, and our restaurants. Now so. how many, do you have an, any idea of how many oysters you oh, cultivate gosh. every year? I mean, about? Probably, uh, you know, from Duxbury Bay, about 12 million oysters. 12 million. Um, so yeah, we work with about 70 farmers from Canada all the way down for, to Virginia. So uh, we act as a wholesaler for other small boutique oyster farms, um, moving their product to some of the best chefs all over the world as well. Delicious. So. Annie McNamara, I'm excited to have you come to the home later awesome. on. Can't I'm wait. excited to have you shrugging oysters for us. Definitely. And I just wanted to stop by. So nice awesome. to meet Awesome. Thanks you. for stopping by. See you by. later on. Yeah, sounds okay. good. Bye. Thanks, Parker. Another place I wanted to stop is Snug Harbor Wine. This is Richard Marble, he's the owner. So tell That's us the right. kind of wines that you do uh, that you do sell here. Well, our wines are probably a little more on the high-end side. Um, we, being small, we have to pick and choose what you really want to carry. Um, we do a lot of seafood pairings because of the, the restaurant right next to us, the fish market, the Snug Harbor Fish. And so you won an award. Tell them what award you had. Oh yeah, it was a nice, nice surprise. We won the Best of South Shore in the wine department. Best uh, of the South best, Shore. Best wine, best wine shop in the South, South Shore. and. Uh, Congratulations. Uh, that was a big surprise for yeah. us. It was great. That was great. For 2017. That's beautiful. Congratulations. Yeah. And thanks for providing the wine. It's going to be a great night. Thank you very much. Good Good to see you. All right. Snug Harbor Wine. Thanks. Floral designer Sarah Beatty created all of the floral arrangements in Jill and Paul's home. She arrived right before the guests to add the final touches for the dining room table. Her shop, Consider the Lilies, is right in town. She is brilliant at what she does, winning Best of the South Shore for several years in a row. Sarah studied at Flower School, New York. Natural, organic, and oh so cool showing up in her retro VW van. This woman lives and breathes flowers. Just gorgeous. Introducing Teresa. Honestly, I've heard such great things about you and your cooking. You're obviously a, a tiny bit Italian. Yes, a tiny bit. And you grew up where? I grew up in Italy until I was eight, and then I moved to the North End until I was 16, and then East Boston. My grandmother owned a cantina in Italy, uh, and then I worked in restaurants my whole life, and my brother ran restaurants, so. Today we're making appetizers. We're gonna make a signature bruschetta, oil. Okay, so a little bit of oil, and? Garlic. And you already uh, yeah. minced it? Yeah. Salt, okay. about three. About, about three? Yeah. Okay, one more. Basically, you're just whipping the oil. You're whipping the oil. So it looks like good cream. Okay. Okay, so then you want to mix it in with tri-colored tomatoes. They have to be cherry tomatoes because they're sweeter. And then you want to just toss it okay. because it's already whipped. All right, so kind of like okay. almost fold and toss Yeah. Okay, so, so what do we have here? This is a fig balsamic reduction. Now, did you make that? Of course, of course I did. you did. Of course I did. <laughs> what am no. I asking? <laughs> yeah. So now you grab the toast and it has to be a spucky. A spucky? Yes. Is that a kind of bread? Yes. It's crispy at the top and when you bite into it, it's really airy. All right, delicious. So, okay, so what would you like me to do? One scoop. One scoop of Only this. one because it's potent. Okay. So now, yeah. this is magic. Mm -hmm. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Now I get to try? Yeah, you get to try it. Mm. Mm. No. Mm? This is a bruschetta. Oh, this is a bruschetta. Delicious. Mm. With everything almost ready to go, the guests began to arrive. Jill and Paul's beautiful home was filling up with family, friends, and neighbors. The three girls, Lila, Olivia, and Iris, were having a ball. As the guests started on the appetizers, mingled, and enjoyed the stunning view, Chef Teresa was cooking up a storm. So we just made some fresh pasta here, flour, water, and there's uh, black shaved truffles. Okay. Okay, so and that then, one's good. So always al dente, always, okay? Yep. Yellow puree tomatoes yep. and uh, garlic, onion, celery, carrots for the sweetness, and then a white wine. Love it. Oh, oh, it smells good. Oh, this is basil, right? And mm. I. What kind of cheese? It's Parmigiano. That's a blonde bolognese. I think blonde's better, yeah. <laughs> Got our 
Island Creek oysters yes. on our dory boat. Um, we've got some mignonette and some shrimp, uh, some row 34 hot sauce. Um, oh, row 34, lemon. you have your own hot sauce with that? Uh, yep, yeah, we did a small batch hot sauce. Oh, cute. Uh, yep, the restaurant. And that's so. supposed to be uh, good for the oysters? Yep, yeah, a little kick, a little acid, citrus. All right. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> I have to take it for the team. I, I, it's really hard. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh, nice and deep, nice and salty. Mm. Oh, I love that kick of that row 34. That's delicious. <laughs> So you know, there always has to be wine with the food. And this is Siobhan Rogenkamp, and she's from Snug Harbor Wine. Wine pairing and making wine menus to go with food, I love. That's love. Passion. So yeah. remember that, go into the shop, because she'll yeah. pick you up. I will. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so tell us, what, so this is first this for one, the oysters? This is for the beautiful Island Creek oysters that are here, yeah. oh, native to Duxbury. Mm -hmm. And this is a uh, muscadet, and it's a sur de lis. And it's just so creamy and so delicious. Um, you'll pick up some nice apricot notes on it, and uh, but still there's this underlying acidity that will help with the salinity of the oysters. And just when you pair this with the oyster, it just wakes it right up in your mouth, and it's just a flavor explosion. I love it. <laughs> and so, how about for the bolognese? So for the bolognese, we're gonna go with Tower Road by Jay Lore, and it's a petite sera. And Petit Syrah, it's going to be jammy, it's going to have such great flavors, but enough, like enough oak that will help with the bolognese and all the woodsy herbs that the chef is putting in in the bolognese. And it's just so rich and for a nice night like tonight, it just oh, yeah. fills the belly. This it feels so good. <laughs> <laughs> it's a beautiful compliment. Thanks. Thank you for pairing the wine with this dinner. It's no going to be problem. so tasty. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> All right, everyone, let's go downstairs and have dinner in the wine cellar. In the wine cellar, <laughs> lovely. <laughs> Thanks for coming everyone. It's been an exciting and crazy time in our lives and we're so happy you could all come and enjoy this house with us. Thank you, Jill. Beautiful homeowners, an incredible home. My goodness, this room, is this room incredible? Yeah. <laughs> love Duxbury, love everything. That's New England Living in Duxbury. Until next week, I'm Parker Kelly. Cheers, thank you guys. Cheers. 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 Living TV is brought to you by Clark, Sub-Zero, Wolf & Co., Kohler Signature Store by Supply New England, and Marvin Windows and Doors. And of course, please stop into the all-new Seven Died in the Seaport District in Boston.